Hello YouTube, today I'll be making a quick tutorial on a really neat utility called GNU Screen. So GNU Screen is uh, very useful if you're working, for example, on uh, AWS or Linux VPS, and you don't want to do multiple sessions or you want to partition to have uh, basically essentially what it is is virtual windows that you can have inside. You can split up your screen into different partitions and have multiple windows within those. You can have background processes running without having to respawn another kernel process. And after you leave, and close your session and you still want a process running, you can use screen to accomplish that task. So let's just uh, get started. I made a quick uh, test folder so we can play around in here. So the very fast way of opening up screen is just doing a screen. So this is GNU screen. I have a quick reference over here. I'll post the link in the description. I won't go through everything. I'll do just a quick start guide in order to figure out what it's all about. So you can turn on screen by just doing a screen. Uh, inside of AWS Ubuntu Linux comes pre-installed. On Mac there's also a version. But the Mac version isn't that great with the one that comes built in, so you can use on um, you can upgrade it using brew. Um, the problem with the one that comes built in doesn't have some of the features like splitting the partition the screen, I think, horizontally doesn't let you and a couple other things. So the first thing you do is you do screen and then we're here, back over here inside our folder. Um, the main way to interface screen is doing control A. And then we can type in another command. So if we want to split it vertically, we can do pipe character and just split our screen vertically. We can move to the other one control A tab. And now if we want to create a new screen, we're over here, but we can't actually do anything because we don't have a screen running on this right side. So in order to create a new screen, we do control A and we do C. So now I have a screen. I can do basically anything I want inside of this screen. So this one's running like that. Notice it doesn't like control A tab, switch so back to the other screen. So pretty awesome. Now I have my partition. I have one screen here. I have one screen here. Notice, by the way, when I'm copy pasting, it's actually going to um, can't really copy paste because it's copying both sides of the screen. But this is pretty awesome. So what I can do now is um actually do Control N and I can actually get to the screen for that one. I it like that. So I can further partition this. I can have another process running into this one also. I can have a uh, zoom into um, test of txt. And anyways, I have a hello here. Then I realize, oh, I actually want to like create another one or a copy of this. I can do next. Oh, but I don't have enough, so I can do Control A C. I have another one now. Three windows. And now I can uh, look through my folder. Do what I have so far in here. Uh, don't seem to have anything. So let's go back here. Save it. Oh, let's go back here. And we see our hello. So the awesome thing is now I have them running the background along with this, and it's all going great. Um, we can also split horizontally. We do Control A S, and now we got another window here. We can split while something else is running also. So of course we can do that. You can do more complicated things. So you can actually um, you can split multiple ways like that. So it's, it doesn't have to be a perfect split, which is um, very useful. Uh, we can see a uh, window list by doing this. We can see our, all of our different windows. Bash. If you're a more advanced user, I'm not going to put it on this tutorial, but you can name your windows certain things. If you want to create a certain workflow, uh, we can change to the next window by doing Ctrl A. Or we can do Ctrl A space, which is also another option for switching between windows. It's personal preference what you want to use. Control A space and Control A enter is uh, the exact same. You can rename the current window, so we can just go through here. We see that there's uh, multiple ways to doing this. A very important thing is attaching and detaching windows. It's uh, important because sometimes when you leave, it'll detach. So you need to reattach in order to gain access to it and uh, switch over to that specific window. Lastly, when you're finally done doing all of this, you can just type in exit and it'll exit out of the screen session. So this is pretty important. And then now we're going to be out. You can see here, exit out. I still have a bunch of other windows open. It's not going to exit all of them at once. It'll actually only exit um, some of them. So the current window, so we can just keep on going through. And now all of the screens are closed. And now we can see that the screen is terminating and the screen successfully terminated afterwards. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you found it useful and uh, thanks for watching.